Welcome everyone to our Bible study. I'm going to be leading our Bible study today. And today is day three, and we're going to be talking about how God is to be feared. But before we jump into it, we're going to actually spend some time in prayer. So everybody can close their eyes and bow their heads. Uh, dear Lord, I thank you for this time that we can have uh, right now as we spend some time reading your word and um, reading more about you. I pray that uh, you open up our eyes and mind to what we read right now. And I pray that I can be clear in uh, the words that I say, and I pray that you can work through me uh, during this time. And I pray that you be with everyone in all the different places they are right now, and I thank you that we are able to still uh, communicate with each other and uh, talk more about you together. And I pray you bless this time right now, in Jesus' name, amen. Alright, so as I said, uh, our topic today is going to be, uh, God is to be feared. Um, we actually have a memory verse for all of you guys to go over and learn. And that memory verse is in Malachi 1, verse 14b. And this verse says, I actually have it written out, and it actually says, For I am a great king, says the Lord Almighty, and my name is to be feared among the nations. Now, there's one word in this verse that we're actually going to be focusing on during this Bible study, and it is the word feared. Now, this word feared doesn't actually mean to be afraid in this verse. I'm going to read the verse again, and I'm going to use two different words to also use that mean the same thing in this, in this verse. So here we go. So I can read the verse as, For I am a great king, says the Lord Almighty, and my name is to be respected among the nations. I can also read the verse with this word. For I am a great king, says the Lord Almighty, and my name is to be honored among the nations. So those two words also mean the same thing as feared in this verse. So we are to respect God, we are to honor God. So if everyone could do their best to memorize this verse, that'd be great, because it's a really great verse. So, as I've said, we're going to be talking about how we are to be fearing God, and not actually being afraid of God, but to be showing honor and respect to God. So. Uh, there actually is two words in the Old Testament that are used in Hebrew, and the Hebrew is the language that was used to actually write the Bible in the first place. In the Old Testament, they used uh, the language Hebrew. And uh, there's two different words in Hebrew that are used to represent fear. And uh, one of them is pronounced pached, which means fear, dread, uh, terror, or to be startled. Another word that's used in the Old Testament in Hebrew is pronounced yari, which is to stand in awe and reverence and respect of God. So those two words have been used in the Old Testament in, as fear. But in the English language, there's only one word for fear, and that's fear. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be reading uh, a Bible verse. And we're going to be reading Psalms 22, verses 23. So if you can open up your Bibles... Um, we're going to be going through that. So that's Psalms 22, verses 23. And that verse says, All who worship the Lord now praise Him. You belong to Jacob's family and to the people of Israel. So fear and honor the Lord. So, this verse is actually talking about honoring and fearing the Lord, but fearing in a way of respect. So at the very end of that verse it says, so fear and honor the Lord. So we are called to fear and respect the Lord God because He is so amazing and has done so many amazing things for us, like our, our creation and all the things on this earth that He's created with His hands, His, His only two hands, He made everything. So He is to be honored and respected and praised. Ways that we can do that in our daily life is also, also respecting others. There's actually a golden rule in the Bible that is said, um, love others and treat others as they would want to be treated. So we want to treat all of our friends, our family, or even strangers, we want to treat them as you would want to be treated. So we're going to be kind and loving to our friends, just as God has been loving, loving and kind to us. So, uh, so yeah, so that's that verse, and that kind of talks about the one uh, meaning of fear. And then in our next verse that we're going to go over, um, it's actually going to be 1 Samuel 23, verses 
15 to 18. Now that verse is actually going to be talking about a different type of fear. Um, in this verse, King Saul has become very jealous of David and has actually started to chase him around the countryside. So David is running for his life from King Saul because King Saul wants to harm David and his men. So we're actually going to be reading that verse, so let's read that verse. So 1 Samuel 23, verses 15 to 18. And that verse says, One time, David was at Horesh in Ziph Desert. He was afraid because Saul had come to the area to kill him. But Jonathan went to see David, and God helped him encourage David. Don't be afraid, Jonathan said. My father Saul will never get his hands on you. In fact, you're going to be the next king of Israel, and I'll be your highest official. Even my father knows it's true. They both promised the Lord that they would always be loyal to each other. Then Jonathan went home, but David stayed at Horash. Very cool verse. So basically what's happening here is David has, has been running away from, from Saul, who wants to harm David. Um, but actually Jonathan, who is the son of King Saul, comes to David and says, Don't be afraid. Don't, be, don't, don't worry, because you are going to be the king, he says. He actually says, in fact, you're going to be the next king of Israel, and I'll be your highest official. And even my father knows it's true. So even King Saul knew that that was true. That's why King Saul was kind of jealous of David. So, um, thinking of fear in that sense, let's think of fire. Would you put your hand in like a blazing, burning fire? I definitely would not because that would like really hurt my hand. And I'd be terrified to do that. So, you don't want to do that because you're afraid. So this is that kind of fear in this verse. So the first verse we talked about fear as honoring and respecting God. In this verse, we're talking about fear as actually being afraid, which are two totally different meanings. So uh, today, we went over uh, the word fear, and we learned that fear doesn't only mean to be afraid, but it also means to respect and honor God. We even talked about how we can actually show respect and honor to our friends and family and others by treating them the way we want to be treated. We want to show love to everyone because God has shown us love in all that we do. So I hope everybody enjoyed um, this session. and uh, I hope somebody learned something new about fear. Um, uh, so yeah, and I hope you enjoyed the verses. Um, I'm actually just going to be closing in prayer. So if everyone can bow their heads and close their eyes. Um, dear Lord, I uh, thank you for this time, God. I, um, I thank you that we could just learn more about um, a fear and, uh, and how we are to fear you and respect you and honor you, God, because you are an amazing God. And I pray that you uh, give us all protection and safety, as I know. Um, I, I'm sure lots of us are afraid and feeling fearful of all the things that have been going on with this virus, uh, COVID-19. Um, I just pray that you give us comfort because uh, you uh, have everything under control. And I pray that we may keep that in mind. And I pray that you be with everyone um, in all the different places they are. And I pray that uh, um, everyone will go uh, into their lives and remember this, um, these verses that we've read. And I pray that we may honor and respect you, God. I thank you and I praise you. And uh, I thank you in Jesus' name.